most complete food there is. It is nature's food for babies. Egyptian carvings 6,000 years old depict cow keeping, so milk drinking is long established. Cows spend several hours each day grazing, using their tongues to tear up the grass which is swallowed into a special part of their stomachs. Some of the food is used to feed the cow itself and the rest is used to make milk which is released from the udder when the teats are squeezed. Bishop Burton College of Agriculture is just one of the many local farms which supply raw milk to Thompson's dairies. Like any other mammal, a cow can make milk only after it has given birth to a calf. With good breeding and good feeding, cows produce more milk than a calf needs. The surplus is sold for human consumption. Milk provides protein to build and repair body cells, carbohydrate for energy, vitamins for healthy blood, teeth and gums, a combination of saturated, polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fats essential for our bodies, and calcium for strong teeth and bones. Our bones are constantly remodeled and the body requires constant new calcium. A pint of milk a day provides all we need. Twice daily, and the milk is pumped to a holding tank, which cools the milk to less than 5 degrees centigrade. The milk tanker makes its collection round daily. The tanker driver takes a sample of the milk before loading. The samples are tested for taste, cleanliness and composition, that is, butter fat and solids non-fat. Tests are made for the presence of added water or antibiotics. The total bacteria count is measured. These test results together with the volume of milk, determine the price the farmer receives for his milk. A computer printout contains information on the date of collection, the milk temperature and its volume. After collecting up to 9,000 litres of milk from local farms, the tanker arrives at the dairy for unloading. Before the transfer of milk, a sample is taken and the temperature checked. At the end of the tanker driver's day, his road tanker is washed and sterilised by automatic machinery kept at the dairies, and the logbook is kept at this. The milk is pumped to the dairy holding tanks and another computer printout is produced recording the date, volume, temperature and other information. Thus, the account for the dairy can be prepared. Here we are in the dairy laboratory. The various raw and pasteurised milks are tested daily.
pasteurized milk is tested for hygiene, presence of added water, presence of antibiotics, butter fat, solids non-fat, proof of pasteurization, and total bacteria count. Here, we see samples of milk being taken from the pasteurizer, both of raw milk samples from the filling lines. Finished milks are stored for five days at a controlled temperature of six degrees centigrade, after which the total bacteria present are measured. 